Okay, Captain Larry with the Seafarer depth sounder. Um, I had to take this uh, uh, mechanism out of its uh, case because uh, the rotor wasn't spinning. It was hung up. Very, very delicate adjustment. You'll see that there's a little sense coil right here. And this is the rotor with the little neon light on the end. No depth perception when I'm looking in the camera. And that has to spin over this sensor coil. And this wire, this little thin wire right there in the middle, has to clear the sensor coil. Well, it's, um, you know, I don't know what happened, whether it was misadjusted at the factory, been mishandled, or uh, whether it's the fact that the, uh, <laughs> the lens on the front of the case got got bashed in and pushed against the rotor <laughs> oh boy. waving this lens got pushed in and it was rubbing against the rotor but in any case there was no clearance between this rotating arm and this magnetic pickup and that wire that tiny little wire right there that little one was rubbing against the uh, pickup coil and wouldn't let the thing rotate. What I had to do was come in here with a nut driver, loosen up that coil, rotate it around slightly so this wire wasn't uh, hitting this arm and uh, reposition the coil slightly and it still seems to work. So uh, <coughs> nobody knows uh, how that happened or why. Uh, hopefully it won't affect the sensitivity of the thing too much. We'll never know till we get it on the transducer. But now <laughs> at least it will rotate. And I noticed this uh, on the back of this sensitivity pot. It's marked 152 kilohertz. So that's the frequency it's operating at. So I'll hook this thing back up now and you can watch it spin around. Let me see if we can zoom back out. Looks like my battery is about to quit on the camera but we'll hook this up to the battery and you can see it. It won't flash because it's not pinging but you will see the light. There we go. I've seen the light Lord. So that's the sensitivity control and when you put it on um, the times whatever it is depth times 10 what happens is that the motor's speed slows down proportionally and that changes the timing uh, greater depth is a longer time for the ping to go down bounce off and return and so slower motor speed so there you go I believe it's gonna work and uh, when I did it the first time in the case, uh, there was no rotation because that rotor was uh, bopping that sensor coil and hanging out.